my earliest memories of woodworking with my grandfather. He was apprenticed as a furniture maker back in the 1920s, making cricket bats with him as an eight-year-old is something that really sticks with me. At the age of 14, I had a very inspirational woodworking teacher. He took us to some fantastic exhibitions, John Makepeace, Ray Key, a very good local wood turner, and I realised that there was more to woodwork than just skirtings and arc drives. When I was still at uh, college, I had a lecturer that kind of took me under his wing. He was a guy that used to come in and, and had his own workshops in Bristol, where I was at the time, and I went and worked for him when I first left at the age of 18 as a self-employed journeyman furniture maker. I feel very fortunate that I did learn from some fantastic craftsmen that had their ideas passed down from generations beforehand of craftsmen. Teaching is a wonderful thing to be actually do to actually pass your skills on to somebody else and something I really do enjoy. I continued being a journeyman furniture maker and worked around the Cotswolds areas for a few years before I came back to Malvern and set my own workshop up, uh, which was making commissioned furniture, both designed by myself, bespoke, and also for architects and designers. I'd been running my own workshop for a few years and I had the opportunity to go and do some part-time lecturing just one day a week at a local college. I went there and after I'd been there a few months I realised I actually really enjoyed the interaction with the students and actually seeing their design ideas come to fruition and actually bringing them on. The college actually offered me a full-time position to go and head up their furniture workshop doing City and Guilds and BTEC National Diplomas. I stayed with the college for about 10 years and then decided it was time for me to go and get my own workshops again. That longing to do my own thing was always there. In 2004 I managed to find a, a great 17th century farmstead very close to the Malvern Hills again and I just knew from seeing it there was a barn and some outbuildings and it could be turned into a very good teaching workshop which is what we did. It took us a couple of years planning wise to get everything sorted out and a couple of years of developing but now we have a perfect setup for a teaching environment. At the school we don't only teach you very good furniture making techniques but as part of that it's making it as worthy, it's going to last for generations and be appreciated for generations. The quality of materials you're using, the construction and the design that's gone into that is going to stand the test of time and be here well after we've all gone. I'm Peter Sefton, the principal and main tutor at the Peter Sefton Furniture School, enjoying furniture making as much now as I ever have done.